Ireland is a land of misty hills, ancient legends and unmistakable charm. But there's one trait that quietly stands out. Hazel eyes. More than green or blue, Ireland has one of the highest rates of hazel eyes in the world. But how did that happen? And what does it reveal about the genetic history of the Irish people? Before we start, I'm on a road to get 1,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. Hazel eyes are mysterious, complex and ever-changing, just like the island itself. In this video, we're diving into the deep DNA roots of Ireland, tracing how ancient migrations, prehistoric farmers, invading Norsemen and even mythic Celts helped shape the modern Irish eye. We'll uncover how Ireland's genetic story, shaped by isolation and mixing alike, created the perfect storm for hazel eyes to thrive. Let me know in the comments if you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Irish roots. I'd love to hear your connection to this living legacy. Hazel eyes are one of the rarest and most complex eye colours in the world. Unlike blue, green or brown eyes, hazel eyes are a blend of multiple pigments and light effects. Most hazel eyes have a golden or brown centre near the pupil that fades into shades of green, grey or even amber toward the edges. Their appearance can change depending on lighting, clothing and even emotional state earning them the nickname Chameleon Eyes. The colour is created by moderate levels of melanin in the front layer of the iris combined with Rayleigh scattering, the same effect that makes the sky appear blue. Hazel eyes have more melanin than blue or green eyes, but less than fully brown ones. They fall right in the middle, both genetically and visually. What makes hazel eyes especially interesting in Ireland is how common they are in a relatively small population. Globally, hazel eyes are rare, just 5-8% to 8 of people have them. But in Ireland, estimates suggest up to 18-25% to 25 of the population has hazel eyes, especially in the western and southern regions. This raises the question, why are hazel eyes so much more frequent in Ireland? The answer lies in a unique blend of ancient ancestry and isolation combined with just the right amount of genetic mixing. To understand hazel eyes in Ireland, we have to go all the way back to a time before the Celts, before kingdoms, before written history. The first known inhabitants of Ireland were Mesolithic hunter-gatherers who arrived around 10,000 years ago after the last Ice Age. Ancient DNA from one of these early settlers found in a cave at Ballinahattie near Belfast revealed a surprising mix of traits, dark skin, dark hair and blue eyes. This early genetic foundation was soon joined by Neolithic farmers, who arrived from the Near East and Europe around 4000 BC. These farmers brought with them lighter skin tones and different genetic profiles, including genes for brown and hazel eyes. They intermingled with the existing hunter-gatherer populations, creating one of the earliest layers of genetic blending in Ireland. These early populations were relatively isolated, especially on an island like Ireland. That isolation preserved certain traits, including those that contribute to intermediate eye colours like hazel. The combination of Mesolithic blue-eyed genes and Neolithic brown-eyed genes may have created the perfect conditions for hazel eyes to begin appearing. By the time the Neolithic era gave way to the Bronze Age, Ireland had already developed a distinct genetic identity, one rooted in ancient migrations but stabilised by centuries of geographic separation. This early base set the stage for the uniquely Irish balance of eye colours we see today, including the remarkable frequency of hazel eyes. Around 2,500 to 2,000 years ago, the island of Ireland entered the Celtic era, a time of new languages, new beliefs and, yes, new DNA. The Celts were Indo-European tribes who likely migrated from Central Europe and the western edges of the steppe. Their arrival didn't completely replace Ireland's earlier populations but it did add new layers of genetic influence, particularly in traits tied to skin tone, hair and eye colour. Celtic populations carried a diverse set of pigmentation genes. While many were predisposed to blue or green eyes, they also carried variants that could blend with existing brown eye traits in Ireland. This created a wider range of intermediate eye colours, and hazel was right in the centre of that spectrum. Rather than introducing hazel eyes outright, the Celts amplified the diversity that already existed. By mixing with earlier Neolithic and Mesolithic groups, the gene pool became richer, more complex, and more prone to variation. It's this complexity that leads to traits like hazel eyes, which require a balance of pigmentation, 
not too dark, not too light. As Celtic culture spread across Ireland, the genetic impact was stronger in some regions than others, especially in the west and south, where modern hazel eye frequencies are still highest. So while the Celts brought myths, they also brought metalwork and a legendary oral tradition. They also brought genetic ingredients that, when blended with Ireland's ancient DNA, helped hazel eyes rise in frequency and become a hallmark of Irish identity. The Celtic period wasn't the end of Ireland's genetic story. Starting in the late 8th century, Viking raiders and settlers from Scandinavia began arriving on Irish shores. Though often remembered for their invasions, the Vikings also established settlements and intermarried with local populations, especially in cities like Dublin, Wexford and Waterford. Vikings brought northern European DNA, which included genes for lighter skin, red or blonde hair and blue or green eyes. These genes entered the Irish gene pool and added even more variation to traits like eye colour. Though hazel eyes weren't dominant among the Vikings, their presence in the population increased the possibility of mixed pigmentation traits, supporting the rise of hazel eyes in areas where Viking ancestry was absorbed. Then came the Norman invasion in the 12th century. The Normans were a mix of Viking-descended French and native Franks, already blended themselves, and they brought new waves of continental European genes. Their arrival added more diversity to the Irish gene pool, particularly in eastern and southern regions. Later, during the Tudor and Stuart periods, English and Scottish settlers also brought fresh European DNA to Ireland. Each wave added new pigmentation genes, some favouring blue, some brown, many creating room for hazel. What's remarkable is that despite these centuries of change, Ireland never shifted fully in one direction. The result? A strikingly balanced spectrum of eye colours, and at the centre of it hazel eyes, thriving as a result of both ancient isolation and centuries of subtle, steady mixing. In Ireland, hazel eyes are more than a genetic feature. They're part of the country's charm, its folklore, and even its poetic language. Irish literature, song, and storytelling have long celebrated the beauty of changing expressive eyes, and hazel eyes with their golden glow and shifting green tones fit perfectly into that lyrical tradition. In Gaelic poetry, eyes are often described in nature-inspired terms, like eyes like a hazel branch, eyes of the forest, or gold-green eyes like moss after rain. These are references not only to colour, but to emotion, depth, and the mystical connection between people and the land. In Irish mythology, the hazel tree itself is sacred. It's associated with wisdom, intuition, and hidden knowledge, especially in the legend of the salmon of knowledge, who fed on hazelnuts that fell into a sacred well. So when someone had hazel eyes, it wasn't just about appearance. It symbolized inner insight, emotional richness, and spiritual strength. Even today, hazel eyes are often seen as unique and magnetic in Irish culture. In modern music, film, and romance, hazel-eyed characters are frequently portrayed as complex, curious, and mysterious, reflecting the deep ancestry and blended identity behind the trait. Hazel eyes are common in Ireland, but they're never ordinary. They represent a balance of old and new, of myth and science, of native roots and global connections. In a nation that honours its stories, hazel eyes have become a living symbol of the Irish spirit, mysterious, timeless and uniquely beautiful. If you enjoyed this journey through Irish DNA and the mystery of hazel eyes, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Hazel eyes in Ireland aren't just a trait. They're a living reflection of 10,000 years of ancestry. From Mesolithic settlers to Neolithic farmers, from Celtic warriors to Viking raiders and Norman lords, every chapter added colour, literally, to the Irish gaze. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Irish roots, let me know in the comments. You might be carrying a piece of ancient Ireland in your eyes, layered, rare and absolutely beautiful.